capabilities in-house to do the electronics, so he decides to partner with another company to do that. So he goes to SolarWorks and Fuse, conveniently inside the task pane, logs in, and it takes him to an area where it shows all the individual project workspaces. So this is how you can organize your data. We'll go to one of the workspaces, we'll see that a number of files have already been uploaded. So let's go ahead and upload the PCB design. Now the electronics designer doesn't need to see the drawing of the backplate, so you've got full control over which files you actually upload. Security is also an issue, so SolarWorks Unfused tells you that these particular users have access to those files. That's okay, I'll give you that. So we'll go ahead and upload it. The important thing here is that SolarWorks Unfused understands the complex file relationships of the 3D CAD files, so you never get into the situation where you upload an assembly and some of the parts are missing. I'm sure nobody's ever had that problem. All right, so once you get to uh, your PCB assembly, you then might want to add a comment. This is in place of email. This comment will stay with this design for the, for the life of the project. So, so you can keep track of any design decisions that have gone along the way. Now once we've posted that comment, we'll, do, we'll move on to the second user. User 2 then logs on to uh, SolarWorks and Fuse and sees that he has some notifications. This keeps a track of the history of what's gone in this design, the files that have been added, deleted, or revisioned, and so on. So we'll see, we'll see the PCB assembly, and we'll check out the comments. We'll go ahead and download it, directly from the add-in, straight into SolidWorks. Now, it already knows what files you have on your hard disk, so it only downloads the files that you need, again, to make it more efficient. When it's finished downloading, it's going to go ahead and open it in SolidWorks. Now, the design change that we're going to make involves in-context relationships. We'll see on the back of this design, there is a reset button with a hole uh, to go through the, in the back plate, so you can press the button. So we're going to make the design change using circuit words. So we're going to take the ECAD data and bring it into SolidWorks and populate the rest of the board. When we do that, you'll see that not only do we have the components, but the reset button will move over to the left a little bit. <coughs> the in-context relationship and the magic of SolidWorks, of course, the hole in the back plate also updates. The point I'm making here is that, again, SolidWorks and Fuse understands that these designs have changed. We want to upload those, it knows it needs to make a second version. You can also lock files, so you can, just to let people know that you're still working on them. What about the first designer again? He will get a uh, notification that some of the files have changed, changed version. So he can go and see how that affects his design by using a fantastic where use tool. We can see how PCB assembly is using the assembly, it's using the drawing. You can also check out which what makes up that assembly as well. So a very nice tool, nice graphical tool to understand those relationships. And what's about the manager? He doesn't have SolidWorks. He can just log into a web browser and see everything that's been going on. He perhaps might want to invite a supplier to, to quote on a particular part. So he creates a new workspace particular for that supplier. He goes to his contacts, and he can add existing contacts or new contacts and add them to that workspace, giving them read-only or rewrite permissions. So you have full control of the security of your files. Finally, you want to uh, share that, that drawing. You don't need to copy it, you simply locate the drawing and then just, and just share that to the new workspace. When the supplier logs in to SolarWorks and Fuse, he will see that he's got a new workspace, he will see that there's a part in there, and any comments that the manager's added with regards to uh, what he needs to do with that file. But what about what if the manager is not in the office? What if he's on the move? Well, you know, that's a problem for me because I am always on the move. And one of the coolest things about SolarWorks and Fuse is we actually have an iPad app that we're ready to release for this. So I can go in and actually look at the project, and Neil was looking at it, can load all that design data, and give me great access to that information no matter where I am in the world, and that's really important. You see all the thumbnails, if I scroll down, there's my router. Of course, I get a quick preview, and then access to all that design information as well. And of course, I can see it all in 3D as well. So when you think about this, no matter where you work, or who you work with, your data will always be available, secure, and backed up with SolidWorks and views. It's going to be easy to work with your customers and suppliers. And it's going to be a really interesting tool for you to check out. I encourage everyone to go to the booth, sign up for the beta that's coming later this quarter, and see the power of Infuse for yourself. Now, I have one more thing I want to show you. And we kind of snuck this in here because it came out of our labs just last week. But 
online and mobile are an important part of what we're trying to deliver tools for. And just to really give you information wherever you are. So I'm excited to actually show you another online app, and that is DraftSite Mobile. So that people using DWG and 2D based data will be able to access it anywhere in the world online and essentially view, mark up, interact with that DWG data and provide comments to move things to the supply chain. So again, another online tool built for a purpose-built device that will be available to you sometime later this year. So a lot going on. Thank you very much.